Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. My name is Shannon and today we're going to learn how to make some cool chain text. So to start with, go ahead and grab your rounded rectangle tool. Make sure your radius is on about 30 and go ahead and draw out a simple chain link. We're then going to zoom into this, control click our layer so that we can actually get the selection. We'll go ahead and make that a flat layer and go to select, modify, contract by We'll do five pixels to start. Once you've done that, hit the delete key so that you have your actual chain link. Next, grab your rectangle marquee tool and we're simply going to drag out a selection like so. We're then going to use our paint bucket tool and fill the rest of it with black. Now, we now have the first chain link done. If we go in here to color overlay and make it a gray color and then go to bevel and emboss, we can select this one right here actually looks really good so I'll stick with that now let's go ahead and make some text that says chain and keep that on Arial make that a lot bigger and we're gonna make this just go with 400 and we're just gonna use this as a placement so let's go ahead and make this opacity to get way down then we're going to create a folder go to chain text and we're going to simply drop this in there like so that way when we create a new duplicate and we drag it down it looks as if it connects etc etc so anyways let's go ahead and grab this chain here and I'm going to simply rotate both of these and I'm going to start it right here and then I'm going to rotate this until I get it to line up with the actual C and then just continue the progress and kinda like that that looks pretty good um, like that and we'll do one more start to curve that over a little bit And we'll then go ahead and grab all those layers and duplicate those again to edit, transform, flip vertically. We'll then drag those down. And about like that. All right, I'll get rid of this one here. connect those a little bit better and it's okay that it's not a perfect shape because it is a chain and it needs to look a little off so we're basically just going to do the exact same process for the H here as well so first of all let's go ahead and just put this as C making that folder create a new folder make that say H and we'll drag actually duplicate that layer and then drag that under the H and rotating that up like that duplicate that down that down duplicate that one down like so 
and we'll then duplicate that last one, bring it up over here. Just connect it like that. Just, again, just duplicating this over. Like so. And one more like that. And again, new folder for the A. So, there we go. getting there we're getting there and make this one a little bit smaller of a chain connecting that like that go back and duplicate that bigger one That looks pretty good. Create a new folder for the I. And duplicate that up. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. These two need to be dragged up into I. There we go. Duplicate that, move it up, duplicate that, rotate that down for the eye, duplicate that one more time, putting that there, and we'll come back and adjust that in a little bit. Now I need to make that be for N, we'll duplicate that layer, drag it into N, make that smaller. And then we're going to start here, drag down, drag down, drag down, rotate like that. And just continuing on with the exact same process as before. Nothing different here, guys. And that's the N. Now let's go ahead and make sure that all these are visible. Now this H is a little bit messed up, so let's go ahead and adjust this. So this one needs to go bye-bye. This one here will rotate up. So that. And then this last H over here will bring down there. We'll kind of bring that one down a little bit. And... We'll leave 
that one where it is. We'll duplicate this one, make it smaller. Just to kind of vary it a little bit. And that now that's done, so we can get rid of the chain behind it. And if we actually go to view actual pixels, you'll see this is not pixelated at all. It actually looks really nice and really clean and fresh. So that looks good. Um, let's go ahead and go to dropping the shadow on that. We'll put the opacity all the way up in the fill down so that we just have the drop shadow on it. And that drop shadow we're going to make very, very soft. So kind of like that. And just really soften that up so it's just a little bit. Hit OK on that. And that looks pretty good. Now one thing I want to try is uh, duplicating these. I'll hide all the rest of them. Merge all those together and then do a drop shadow on just that. And that actually looks a lot better so I'll stick with that instead of the other one. And I missed one of the uh, folders. So I'll go back and redo that real quick. Duplicating that, hiding all of those. And drop the shadow on that. Hit OK. Go back to this here, make that a little bit darker, a little bit more prominent. And there you go, guys. That's how you can make cool chain text in Photoshop fairly quickly. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next lessons. And be sure to show that like button some love.